Hey guys and welcome back. So we're in the farm shop this morning. I'm just grabbing some tools real quick because I've got a little bit of a project going on. So what I need for this job is a couple, I need a small regular screwdriver and I also need a small Phillips head. It doesn't look like we really have one that's all that small. I guess that one's I guess this one's the smallest one we got, so we'll take these two. We're also gonna need a utility knife, so we'll take that. I did wanna show you guys, so we got the farm sign finished. We've got all the letters screwed down, and we think we've got them positioned where they should be, but hopefully they are because we can't undo it now without making a mess of things. So we had to squeeze the board together here in the middle to make it come out right, because they were a little bit bent, but I think it looks really good, so probably you guys can't see the whole thing, but I hope you can. So yeah, we just gotta get the guy to come over and put that up and then we'll have the unveiling of the barn sign. We also did get the brake line on the sawdust truck, so that was good. Um, got the paddle on the manure spreader, so this is all ready to go. Got a couple new bolts on there and got that. We do need to pick up another paddle because we don't have an extra one now. There is one on here I think that's broken. Yeah, that one right there is a little bit broken because that one probably won't last too much longer. So it does feel good to have gotten those things done. It's a beautiful day today. I think it's probably like 55 already, so that's really nice. Yesterday morning was 33, and it was cold. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, you can see we've got a bunch of loose wiring here. So we're going to be rewiring this whole thing right here. Um, Brent wants to put a switch, that switch right there on the wall, and he wants to put it here. So we're going to take this off, and we're going to have a light in here. So we're going to put a new receptacle in here, and then put that switch here so we have a light in there this winter. So if we do have to work on anything, which hopefully we don't, we will at least have light to see. So I've got my chips <laughs> and my little receptacle thing is right here. So we actually brought these off eBay. You, they don't make these anymore. Obviously, you could probably tell by the way it looks, but they're brand new. They came in their original boxes. The things you can buy on eBay, it's just amazing. It even has a little, um, I don't know, instruction manual in it. So that's pretty cool. It says they were two dollars back then i'm pretty sure he paid a lot more than that for them so um he said what i need to do is first take off the old one so we'll get ourselves set up in there i'm probably gonna need a light there's one right here see if we can see what's going on in there stop in the name of love okay so that one right there so you can tell if she's toast so we need to take that down. Of course, it's right on the edge of the manure pump. So probably gonna have to stand on it. Looks like I need the flathead one. So let's try our best here to not fall in the manure pit. This seems so, so unsafe. Maybe I just have to put my flashlight in my mouth. By the way, Brent is coming back over to help me, but he's just went over to feed the heifers right now. <laughs> ah, story of my life, I'm too short. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I just dropped it in the pit. Good news is it was bad anyway. So now I guess I'm just supposed to put that right where that one was and I can't reach it. So I'm gonna have to wait for him to come back anyway because there's no way I can reach it and you know like not fall. <laughs> Thank you. 
So while we're waiting for him to come back so he can worry about that, I'll take you guys up and show you the hayloft. Do have to come up here anyway to count some bales. He wanted to know how many were up here. He just took one from up here over to the heifers and he wanted to know how many were left up here. I rolled it in his bucket and he took that. So. so for those of you who have not been up here, this is what the top of the barn looks like. I think it's just beautiful the way it was built. There's the old like cradle, I guess you'd call it, for the hay elevator for when you did square bale. Now obviously there's round bales from last year up here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirty-four. We've got enough to feed the heifers over there for a long, long time. I just love it up here. So cool. The old hay holes for throwing down square bales. This used to be an old sawdust room where they blew sawdust. I'm not really sure how they blew it up here, but, it, but I know they did blow sawdust up into here. That's why it's all closed off from everything else. I think I can hear Brent coming back, so. It's a false alarm, he is not back, so we're gonna try to figure this out. Screw down device, so that's the first thing you have to do, and then break out the knockouts for the cable. Strip and attach wires, attach cover, staple within six inches of device. Sounds pretty straightforward, so take this off. Take these out. What did I do with my screwdrivers? So here are our screws that we need to put up. Single pull switch. So you just go to this one with your black wire and this one with your white wire. So I guess there's no way around it. I'm just not tall enough to do it. So we're gonna have to wait for him. <sighs> Here he comes. I tried like three more times and I still couldn't reach it no matter how hard I tried. I even tried sitting up on top of the actual pump and that just scared me and I didn't end up getting anywhere, so. I can't reach it. Oh, you can't? Nope. I got it out. I don't know how, but I cannot get the other one up there. Not oh, even yeah. close. We'll see. We'll see. I did get it out, but okay. I was afraid I was going to drop something. Can you hold the light for me? Yeah. Here, the thing's over here. Are you serious? <laughs> you can reach it from there. Oh, yeah. I was over here on the thing. Really? My arm completely stretched as far as I could get it to get it out. So I can't reach it at all. I didn't bust him out yet. Oh. There, you have to bust him out on the other one. It's on the cover of it. You don't have to bust these out? Oh, wait, maybe. It is. No? No, uh, yeah, you're right. It's on the cover, I think. So. But here's your screw. We can, okay. Don't fall in there, please. I don't want to fish you out of there. Let me, let me Speaking of, I accidentally dropped the old one in there. That's all right. Got a screw? Yeah. Here. Don't lose it. No. It's the same hole and everything, I think. There. Oh. 
kind of angry that I couldn't reach it. <laughs> That's back when they used flathead screws. I can't believe we found any, even on eBay. You really can get anything on there. Yeah. Do you need snippers or something? Well, uh, I think, oh, maybe I'll... You want to hook your black one into the one you've got it, and then your white one has to go in the one directly next to it. This over here? No, the silver one. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. Remember when we had the old fan in here that when the wind blew, it would start blowing it the wrong direction because it was so weak? Oh. Oh, no. You got another one of... No. A single pole switch, which I would assume that's what you're doing. Yeah. It says connection for a single pole switch in line with a load beyond a switch, which is what you'd be doing, right? Yeah. You want to... Hook your black wire to the first one, and then your white wire to the silver one. Okay, yeah. Twist on those. And I'll get those with my hands. Whoops. Sorry. Okay. There we go. There you go. Let me, let me tighten that one down. Hold that a second. Let me tighten this one down. Yeah. Now get the cover. I don't think you feel any way feel Just bring the whole thing like you. Well, you can pop it on. Yeah. Pop it on just as much as you can, okay? Okay. Which one did you pop out? This one? Okay. Put your bulb in. And hopefully it works. Yeah. There. Okay, now, come on here. Oh. I hate touching this wire, even though there's... Now let me see your, your pliers. My pliers. I guess that's gonna go. Hook onto this. I got some Romex right out back there. Let's go get that. Let's see, you're gonna have probably... Oh god, I got plenty. Let's go get that out back. We gotta take this. This has gotta come off and, and just... There. You hook here, go across to there. This one here goes across to there with where the pigtail's gonna be. And then you... You got... Uh, that's how you check it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, all you have to do is run one across there and hook onto there somewhere. We'll snip it. And you should have power over there. Hmm. Moonlighting as an electrician, are you? All right, let's go up back and get that okay. wire. A wire that's right here? Okay. Now. Oh, there they are. Oh. You probably already said that. The cows. Yeah, I said that. Oh. <coughs> I just swallowed a fly. This should be enough right here. Hi. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Do this one. Pretty sharp knife. Huh? Pretty sharp knife. It is. Yep. This may have been boisterous. If I was in Boy Scouts, then there's a problem. Okay, can I see your knife just a second? Girl Scouts, we sell cookies. You didn't do a very good job of that either. I ate them all. <laughs> that I believe. So this is going to go all the way over the... Here? Somewhere? Okay. Yeah. So the switch isn't moving. Huh? The switch isn't moving. I guess no. that's what I misunderstood. The one switch one. is going to stay there. Over there. Okay. I misunderstood that. I thought you were replacing that box with that switch. No. I see. 
All right, guys, so it's the next day. Um, Brent did have to run out real quick when we were doing our wiring project, so we decided to just call it a day since it was about one o'clock anyway. So we just took the rest of the afternoon and relaxed. So we didn't get anything else accomplished that day other than milk the girls, obviously. Um, but it did feel really nice to go home and relax a little bit and just kind of have a little bit of downtime. And it didn't really matter anyway because the weather completely changed and it ended up raining at like two until nighttime, I think. So you can see it's pretty gloomy out today as well. It isn't supposed to rain today, um, but it wasn't supposed to rain yesterday either, so who knows. Um, obviously, we're in the Kubota right now, and we're out here getting ready to mow the rest of this field. I do have to cut it short right here. You can see where we didn't finish anything, even first crop, because it's too wet over there. Um, but I won't even be cutting over that far. I'll be staying here and cutting across because you can see there's standing water over there. So we won't be getting anywhere near that. If it is dry here, I will slowly make my way over there until it starts getting wet. Um, this side does actually look thicker than this did, so hopefully we'll get um, quite a bit out of this. I think we got 11 out of this side, so hopefully we'll get around 12 or 13 out of this side, so that'll be nice. The girls are back out to pasture. It did dry out enough for them to go back out, so they're very happy about that. It's supposed to be 70 tomorrow, so it's going to be really nice, so hopefully they can stay out. Um, well into November like they usually do, but I do know after this warm spell it's supposed to cool down drastically So you never know they could be coming in earlier than usual So anyway, we need to get this mode and then I'll take you guys back to show you a few things We do have a couple new exciting things to show you guys We've already got the mowing machine opened up, so we just need to be in turtle mode Can't do without arm apparently There we go Third with the button on Rev it up a little bit so we don't kill the tractor. show you guys the things I wanted to show you. Looks like we need to pressure wash. 
wash the mowing machine before we put it away. See if I can't get it out of four-wheel drive. Oh wow. It's never that easy. Okay, so the first thing I did want to show you guys was we did get that light bulb put up right here So it's nice and bright right here now um, We haven't quite finished the wiring over here in the corner This switch does now turn on the light in there and we tried it out and it does work but We didn't really have everything that we need. We don't really want to use it right now until he gets the stuff that he needs um, I'm not really sure what it is. I'm not an electrician, but I do know that it does work now. So that will be nice um, Another thing we did was we did clean out the calves pan and there's a pile over there that we need to clean up because we didn't want to take it out back because we just cleaned the freestall. So we figured we'd just put it on the ground out there and scoop it up with a bucket later and take it down to the pit so we weren't making any more of a mess down there than we needed to. So I'll show you guys the girls. There they are, all comfy and cozy. Hi, Jojo. You come say hi. How are you? Hi. I did put their grain in there for them. It's in the corner over there. They have a tray feeder over there and they are getting onto it. I'm starting to wean them off a little bit, just giving them a little bit less milk. And let me tell you, they are not happy about it. Every time I go in there now, they hit me. And I think it's just payback for cutting back on the milk, isn't it? It is, isn't it? She said, does this sweet face look like I would do that? No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Our electrician showed up this morning and hooked up that heater, so I did want to show you guys that real quick. It's really exciting. Um, it does take the heater quite a while to warm up, but once it does get warm, it's really hot. So, he put this box up here and he ran all the wires. He did like a really good job. It looks great. He put these staples in here and ran the cord over and zip tied it to it. He did a really good job. So we just turn this dial on the back of it. You see the light come on. And the fan. Like I said, it does take it a minute to get hot, but once it does, it's just really, really nice. I know exactly where I'm gonna be this winter, standing right in front of this, right by the coffee maker. So yeah, so it's already starting to get pretty warm. So then you can just shut it off whenever you want. So I think that's gonna work great. It's gonna keep this room really nice. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. It was probably shorter than most, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on some things that were going on. Don't forget to like and comment down below. We'd love to hear from you guys and subscribe, of course, because the more the merrier. So yeah, stay safe, keep it real, keep farming, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.